Welcome to App Design Tips. I have Renan here with me showing off Adobe Fonts for the iPad. And I, I'm really excited about this, using it for Photoshop on the iPad. I have a new course out called uh, Learn Photoshop for the iPad. And one thing that's really exciting is you have all of your Adobe Fonts that you can download. You have access to all of them here. So can you tell us a little bit about how this works on the iPad? Sure, so how it works is uh, iOS 13, we have a new feature with Apple, it allows you to install a font system-wide. So Adobe, of course, wanted to make sure all of our fonts are available. So if you download the Creative Cloud mobile application, you'll have access to the free fonts if you are a free subscriber, or if you're a full subscriber, access to all 17,000 fonts. You can look through um, the, the font category, you can um, scroll through it like what we have right here, and it's as easy as just clicking the install font button. So if we find one that we like here, the Blambot, um, oh, we were in, the, that was actually in one of the other sections, but uh -huh. you get the idea. You can install the font and then it's available. So if you actually want to see this, um, you know, if you go back to system and actually see where they are to show you that it's a system font, um, there's the Blambot one that we actually just installed. So there you go. So system font. So what does that mean? Uh, maybe you can explain a little bit like you want to show. It means there's system, so what other apps can we use it in? Yeah, it's very nice. So um, iOS 13, they have, they've enabled us to be able to use third-party fonts. And so Creative Cloud and Adobe Fonts has incorporated that here. And so now if we go into Photoshop, right, we can go into our fonts here, uh, go into the properties, and we can change that font and we can find those here. But if you install those fonts on the desktop, you're, it's, you're not going to be able to automatically see them on the iPad yet, right? But you can go into here, you can go into the Creative Cloud app, is that correct? Yep. And then here you can see installed fonts. And that's the ones that we've installed on the system. Okay. So back here there's a little header up here that says active fonts, not on not this on device. Not on this device. And so it'll show you all the ones that you've activated. And you, so you can scroll through there and just with e some easy taps here, you can find those. So if you have Photoshop on the desktop, you're working on a document with some unique fonts, you can jump right into Photoshop on the iPad. If you don't find that font in your system and that font potentially breaks, just go ahead and tap undo there. You can come right back into the Creative Cloud, find it here, and just tap install, and you have access to your complete design with those fonts enabled. So that's really exciting. I so, think designers are going to love this. And then the, the, the reverse of that is if you're starting a new project on Photoshop, but you're uh, on the go and you're just on your iPhone, you could be thinking about the fonts you want to use for this new project. You mm -hmm. could be installing those, and then when you go back to your desktop on Photoshop, they'll be available They'll be there, there. too. So, yeah, so it's just tap, 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 and you have... So if, if your preference here is, for example, we have this iPhone right here, and we have the Creative Cloud app, so if your process is just to open up this app, find the fonts, and just tap, 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 they will be available on the desktop That's correct. as well as on your iPad. And so if I enable them here on my iPhone, will they be here on the iPad? No, but they will show up like here in the same, and they activate not on this device. That's why it says this device, So, because okay. um, it's all connected through the server. It's so, not, these don't talk to each got other. Got it. Right so we're, we're navigating around iOS's limitations, right? Trying yeah. to get the best of both worlds, and so I think uh, iOS will kind of mitigate some of these problems in their future releases. Possibly, we'll I mean, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but until then, this is really amazing to have access to these thousands and thousands of different fonts. If you guys haven't tried Adobe Fonts, they're amazing, I love it. That's my go-to resource for fonts. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks thank for coming you. by. Take care.